banks by the Federal Reserve. He cites persistently high consumer costs, particularly in housing and transportation, as evidence of the inflationary pressures gripping the economy. Moreover, he discusses the potential implications of these economic trends on various stakeholders, including consumers, investors, governments, and banks. He elaborates on the challenges facing commercial real estate developers, grappling with high debt burdens amid declining property values and tightening lending conditions. Palihapitiya warns of the escalating costs of government borrowing, exacerbated by mounting debt levels and rising interest rates. He predicts significant strain on financial markets as the government grapples with refinancing trillions of dollars in debt at higher rates, potentially crowding out private investment and exacerbating inflationary pressures. Addressing the apparent disconnect between record-high stock market valuations and looming economic risks, Palihapitiya attributes market resilience to a shrinking pool of investable assets and persistent inflows of capital. He cautions against viewing market gains as reflective of underlying economic strength, cautioning investors against complacency amid uncertain economic conditions. In conclusion, Palihapitiya warns of the need for decisive action to address systemic economic challenges, emphasizing the importance of sound policy decisions and technological innovation in driving sustainable growth and mitigating risks in the long term. He calls for a reassessment of current economic policies and a concerted effort to address underlying structural weaknesses to avoid further deterioration of financial stability and societal well-being. Money, the elusive elixir of modern society, often seems like an unyielding force, capable of turning fortunes and futures on their heads with a mere flicker of fluctuation. And so, we find ourselves embroiled in the tumultuous years of 2023 and 2024, where the repercussions of escalating interest rates reverberate throughout the economic landscape. As these interest rates soar to unprecedented heights, the once stable pillars of the economy begin to quiver, faltering under the strain. In this precarious environment, occupancy rates plummet, particularly for those deemed as risky borrowers. With each passing day, their already diminished cash flow dwindles further, exacerbated by the burden of servicing debts at exorbitant interest rates. Faced with the grim reality of insurmountable debt, these borrowers reach a breaking point. Confronted with the impossibility of repayment, they opt to cease all payments, plunging into default. However, this decision sets off a chain reaction of consequences, sending shockwaves through the financial system. Enter Slick Rick, a figure emblematic of the intricate web of financial intermediaries woven throughout the market. Slick Rick's livelihood hinges on the fees derived from collateralized loan obligations, CLOs, intricately tied to the performance of these risky loans. As defaults loom large, so too does the specter of lost revenue for Slick Rick. In a bid to salvage the situation, Slick Rick embarks on a precarious gambit. Turning to traditional banks, he seeks further financing, leveraging his seemingly impeccable credit score as collateral. With funds secured, he initiates a bold maneuver, repurchasing the underperforming loans from the CLO entity. By doing so, he shrewdly shifts the burden onto his own balance sheet, shielding the CLO from immediate losses. Yet, this maneuver is not without its risks. Slick Rick's fate becomes intricately entwined with the fate of these delinquent loans. Should they fail to yield returns, or if interest rates remain stubbornly high, his precarious financial house of cards threatens to collapse. The consequences ripple outward, threatening to engulf not only Slick Rick but also the very foundations of the banking sector. Should the worst come to pass, and Slick Rick finds himself unable to honor his obligations, the bank, reluctant lender to risky borrowers, stands poised to bear the brunt of the fallout. As collateral is seized and losses mount, the delicate equilibrium of the banking system is disrupted, exacerbating an already precarious situation. The implications of this intricate dance of risk extend far beyond individual balance sheets. They cast a shadow of doubt over the stability of the entire financial ecosystem. While the likelihood of a full-blown crisis on the scale of the Great Financial Crisis, GFC, may seem remote, the signs of strain in the real economy are unmistakable. As economic indicators falter and consumer sentiment wanes, the specter of recession looms large. While this confluence of factors may not single-handedly trigger the next GFC, 
Wall Street Detective This Side join my Telegram channel where you can get latest stock market news with lightning speed. In this Telegram channel, my team shares stock market latest news which are very important for you and by joining my Telegram channel you can be updated in stock market every minute. To join my Telegram channel, click the link in description. It has the potential to magnify the severity of any impending downturn, amplifying its impact on individuals and institutions alike. In these uncertain times, where the machinations of banks and governments loom large, it becomes imperative to navigate the tumultuous waters of finance with caution and foresight. For those seeking to safeguard their wealth and thrive amidst the chaos, a keen understanding of these intricate dynamics is paramount. For more insights on navigating the complexities of a world governed by volatile banks and behemoth governments, explore our curated playlist. In a landscape fraught with peril, knowledge truly is power. Join us as we delve deeper into the intricacies of modern finance, arming ourselves with the tools needed to weather any storm that may come our way. The derivatives market, with its staggering valuation of over $1 quadrillion, is showing signs of vulnerability reminiscent of the 2008 financial crisis. Renowned investor Warren Buffett famously dubbed derivatives as e financial weapons of mass destruction, and the current landscape seems to echo his cautionary words. To comprehend the potential implications of this unfolding scenario, let's delve into the intricate world of collateralized loan obligations, CLOs. Imagine CLOs as complex financial constructs, akin to a precarious game of Jenga, as illustrated vividly in the big short J movie. In this financial arena, there's a pivotal figure known as the sponsor, or in our narrative, the charismatic Slick Rick. Much like a skilled puppeteer, Slick Rick orchestrates deals, navigating the labyrinthine paths of risk and reward with finesse. Picture him, adorned with dollar sign adorned glasses, exuding the aura of financial prowess. Slick Rick's modus operandi revolves around enticing investors with promises of lucrative returns, even in the face of heightened risk. He crafts elaborate schemes, offering bonds to risk-averse individuals while tantalizing risk-seeking investors with equity stakes. Armed with funds from eager investors, Slick Rick embarks on a quest for assets, often venturing into the shadowy realms of shadow lending. In these shadowy corridors, Slick Rick strikes deals with lenders, obtaining a trove of loans that serve as the building blocks for his CLO edifice. With meticulous precision, he structures these loans into various tranches, each catering to different risk appetites. From conservative bondholders to audacious equity seekers, Slick Rick has something to offer everyone, all while skimming a tidy profit for himself. Yet, beneath the veneer of financial sophistication, cracks are beginning to emerge. Recent reports from Bloomberg highlight a surge in buyouts of delinquent commercial real estate loans, a key component of CLO portfolios. As multifamily landlords grapple with mounting delinquencies, lenders, including the elusive sponsors like Slick Rick, are scrambling to avert disaster. These lenders, fearing a cascade of defaults that could jeopardize their lucrative fee structures, are resorting to desperate measures. They're repurchasing delinquent loans at an unprecedented pace using borrowed funds from banks and other sources to stem the tide of impending losses. This frenzied buying spree underscores the fragility of the CLO market, which ballooned by a staggering $45 billion in 2021 alone. Wall Street Detective This Side join my Telegram channel where you can get latest stock market news with lightning speed. In this Telegram channel, my team shares stock market latest news which are very important for you and by joining my Telegram channel you can be updated in stock market every minute. To join my Telegram channel, click the link in description. The roots of this crisis lie in the exuberance of the previous years, where speculative fervor fueled a frenzy of investments in multifamily apartment complexes and commercial properties. Borrowers, enticed by the promise of future gains, embarked on risky ventures, securing bridge loans with grandiose plans for renovations and refinancing. However, as occupancy rates dwindled and rental income failed to meet lofty expectations, the house of cards began to collapse. Rising interest rates exacerbated the situation, eroding property values and leaving borrowers stranded with unsustainable debt burdens. The once promising investments morphed into ticking time bombs, threatening to engulf the entire financial ecosystem in turmoil. In a cruel twist of fate, the same banks that spurned these risky borrowers initially unwittingly fueled their endeavors through shadow lending channels. Blind to the interconnected web of risk, 
they extended credit to shadow lenders, oblivious to the precarious nature of their investments. As the derivatives market teeters on the brink, the specter of another global financial crisis looms ominously on the horizon. The lessons of 2008 remain painfully relevant, serving as a stark reminder of the perils of unchecked speculation and financial engineering. Only time will tell whether we heed these warnings or succumb to the allure of easy profits, paving the way for yet another cataclysmic reckoning.